Okay, this is called the slake test. I prefer to call it the aggregate stability test. So what are we gonna do here? Now, we got this is conventional. This is no-till and covers. And I think this is the grassland, okay? Now, we want our soils to hold its structure. What creates structure? Aggregates. They create the structure, guys. And I'm gonna show you in a little bit a great, what aggregates look like. We'll do that in a second. Okay, you put this for me, right? This was the grass, this is the conventional, and this is the no-till with covers. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think so. Okay, me, hold I'm pretty- Hold your hands and let me look at them. <laughs> yes, 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 she's- I'm just double checking. I'm just double checking. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, here's how you could do this. You can do this at your own house, guys. In fact, I can show you how to use a water bottle, grab a clod randomly in your field, and we'll put water on top of it, and I can tell you how much carbon you have in your soil. Okay, here's how we do this. These are air dried. Each of those clods have millions of pores. They're gonna drop the clod into the water and the water's gonna rush in to fill the pore space. We wanna see which soil holds its integrity, does not fall apart. If your soil starts to fall apart, that means your soil is going to seal up because the clays, which you cannot see unless you use electron microscope and the silts are plugging up the pore space. We do not want the soil to fall apart. Everybody with us? Go ahead and gently drop them in. Okay. Let it settle. Let's see which one is the dirtiest. And by the way, whatever they get, they have to drink out of there. <laughs> that sucks for you, man. <laughs> now notice how the soil is falling apart. These ones will settle out. How's the pasture doing? Is the cover crop doing better and the no-till? How's the conventional doing? Now, what if we put a little bit of force and see what happens? See, your soils are supposed to handle some forces and energy. So how's the conventional doing? This is costing us a lot of money. This is a dysfunctional water cycle and a dysfunctional nutrient cycle because we're not capturing enough sun. Both these systems are capturing way more sun than this one. This is leaky. It's more prone to disease. More prone to disease. When nitrate nitrogen is predominant in these bacteria driven systems, it affects potatoes. That's why potatoes don't last as long. More pathogens more disease. This system is not functioning correctly. The nitrogen form, we're gonna talk about it, are more in the organic form. We'll talk about that in a while. This is more nitrate in the system. Leaky, more disease issues. Insects can tell this soil real quick. This is the frequencies. Nature self-healing, self-organizing, self-regulating. This is why we're going broke with this. We want a system that goes this direction, more living roots, even if we have to do an occasional tillage. If you would ask me, Ray, if I had one practice only, one practice, what would you guys choose? You're only allowed one. Covers. Covers. Not no-till, covers, because no-till can capture sun and convert it to liquid sun and feed the microbes. You know what no-till does? Protects the house, but it does not feed the microbes. 
Oh, by the way, no-till does save you 66% in fuel because you're not making dirt. So the more we reduce the tillage, guys, the better for us. I will never, I've come to chill out. Oh, I love your beard. Exudate those living covers. You're going to say, but Ray, it gets cold here and we only get this much cover. I seen triticale that big with six foot root. Do not be surprised of the tiny and how the little things matter. It makes a huge difference. It really makes a difference because feeding microbes to the last bit. That's what I want to do.